Hello and welcome to my channel, Kelly Legends Media. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, uh, the ones that have subscribed. I'm so grateful to you. Thank you very, very much. And those of you who haven't, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell. And become part of the, the Kelly Legends family. Okay? Uh, we're, we're a new channel. We're just we're just a little over a month old. And, uh, you know, we plan to stick around and, 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 do, and doing some things. Okay, so today's video, it's going to be a short one, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you some new content out there to, to ponder, to look over, to check out. Okay? So this is uh, from a time that I was in the LA County Jail. It's a part of the jail that's known as Supermax, okay? And uh, I'm getting released. I had been in the hole. I had gotten into a fight. And I had been in the hole for, for a few weeks. And uh, they called me out for uh, some sergeant's court or something. They talked to me and stuff and told me they were going to uh, release me back to mainline. So I'm like, oh, all right, you know, cool. Like, what's up? He says, no, nah, well, you know, that's it. That's enough time. You're going back to mainline. That's all they told me. So I went ahead and uh, got my stuff back over at the dorm, you know, my belongings and stuff. I made up my bed and stuff. And I just barely laid down on the bed, right? And I had a little Bible that was given to me while I was in the hole. That's all I had. So I laid there on the bed, you know, and uh, just thinking about things. And I, I just opened the Bible randomly and I read this verse. Th this isn't the, the complete verse. This is only uh, the part of the verse that would pertain to what we're talking about. And I keep losing it on this screen here. That's why I keep looking down. Anyway, so th the part that I wanted to point out is the part that says, because this was the last thing I read. As a dog returns to its vomit. So a fool repeats their folly, okay? And, and that, that's going to come up later, this, this verse. As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his own foolishness, right? Steve Camacho rolled it up for release, just like that. I just unrolled my bed, made it up, laid back, cracked the Bible open, started to read, read that verse, Camacho rolled it up for release. That's all right. Grab my little belongings that I wanted to take with me. Grab my bedroll. Hit the gate. Okay? So there's another saying. Okay? But it didn't pertain to this Bible uh, verse. But there's another saying that says, uh, at, the, at the gate at 8 in the spoon by noon. Okay? Anyways. So I get released, right? Not thinking about the Bible verse that I had just read or anything. I'm just thinking about getting out. Okay? So, you know, it takes a couple of hours to get processed out. Whatever time I got out, I'm not sure. But uh, I didn't have no money. I didn't have a ride home. Uh, I didn't want to call nobody uh, to pick me up. You know, I just, I, I, I just took off walking. I started to walk home. Well, on the way home, I found a car that, as I'm walking by the car, I looked in and I seen that the little light on the on the dashboard was on. And the ignition was turned just, just a hair, right? So I went around the driver's side, opened the door, car started right up. I'm like, wow, man, but I just got out of jail, you know? And uh, my plan was to stay out, you know? I, I, it wasn't, I, I'm, I'm going to do good. I'm going to do it this time. <laughs> well, I decided to jump in the car, right? So I've only been out maybe 20 minutes and I just committed a, a Grand Theft Auto, okay, GTA. So there I go. I take off on this car. I'm headed down the freeway, okay. I get off in my neighborhood, and uh, I get off and I check the trunk of the car. The trunk of the car has some tools and stuff. So I go and uh, I find somebody to buy the tools. Now I got a little cash in my pocket. Give me something to eat. And I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Like, like. What am I going to do? I was bored, you know, but there's always something that happens to you, man, or, or at least to me personally, when I get back to my neighborhood, I get this feeling, you know, it's like, it's just a habit, you know, it's, it's a, it's just this desire comes over me to feel a certain way and do certain things, you know? So I went and I, uh, I ended up selling the battery to the car and everything. 
and end up end up going out and and doing my thing. And I hadn't even been out very long, right? But as soon as I did, I realized that Bible verse that a dog returns to its own vomit like a fool returns to his own folly, you know? And I start remembering other things. <laughs> People would tell me, hey, man, you keep doing the same thing. Don't expect any new results. You, the same thing's going to happen for you. You know, no, nothing's going to change. You have to change the things that you do to get a different result, you know? But, uh, you know, I, I had other things to do, like find my friends, you know, find my homies, you know, there I go. We're gone on, on a mission, you know? And I, I guess the, the, the main part of this video is that, you know, so many people, they go in there, they go into to jail or they go and do some prison time and they get out and they go back to the same area, the same neighborhood, the same people doing the same old thing. And uh, doing that, it's going to bring the same results, you know, you, you're taking the same kind of risks and stuff, you know. And the possibilities there to, to have yourself turned right around and put back into jail. Well, I don't need to say I didn't last very long out, out in the street. You know, I, I ended up getting arrested again and, uh, and went back to jail. So uh, it was something that I thought about because I was thinking about doing another video about that place, uh, Supermax. It's one of the facilities in the Los Angeles County uh, jail system okay it's up in wayside in wayside they have minimum they have a uh, medium north they got south they got east the old max and then they got super max and i would i got out of super max this time i'm telling you about we opened that that uh that little institution there when it was first open we were like the second bus in to that institution and there was still little beads of metal on the floor from welding from when they were welding the bars, welding the bunks, you know? And uh, like that was one of the first things to do was, you know, to go. Our job was to clean up all of the stuff that the construction people left behind, you know, and get it ready for to populate with inmates, right? It was a new facility back then. They didn't even have officers walking in the hallways. If you got called for something like to medical or something, you just took off walking down the hall. They just opened the door automatically let you out. There was no escort. You were just walking, you know, and then you hear in the speaker, uh, turn left here, inmate, make a left, boom, boom. They'll direct you to the, to the, wherever you're going to medical or whatever part of the facility that you need to get to. And it was weird because you'd walk for a long time. It was a very big place. And they, they, I don't know where they had the cameras because they weren't like just out in the open where you could see them. But at any time, they were able to speak to you and see to you from their wherever their command center was. I believe it was in front of the, the, the main chow hall. But anyways, um, I'm going to do a video later on on my little adventure going there and opening up that place. Uh, I, I was hanging around with a guy, a pequeño from Lomas, and uh, a lot of the stories are going to revolve around him and some of the things that we got into with the huras and stuff. Uh, both good and bad things, you know, things that, that we profited by. Uh, he was a very good artist. Uh, he did a, he did the tattoo on my arm of the dragon. Uh, but he drew very, very nice, you know. And I guess the officers had a thing for, for uh, prison drawings, you know what I mean? They wanted stuff related to prison, to jail, you know. Uh, they wanted, like, uh, uh, also stuff like a pig, a real pig wearing a police hat, you know, like, tearing ass, you know, smoke coming out of his back feet, you know, like if he's uh, like if he's a little cop car or something, you know, just stupid things that that they'd ask for. And Pe and Pequeño would sketch him out and, and tell me where to shade and, you know, how to do certain parts of the drawing. But he, he he's the one that hooked them up, you know, but he'd take me with him all the time because I'm the one that got him the, the hookup. You know, I, since I was got him the plug, he'd take me with him every job he did, even though I really didn't do anything, you know, and we'd always like get uh, Burger King and King Taco, you know, <laughs> we get some crazy stuff to eat, you know, that basically that's all we would get, you know, maybe some extra bedding, you know, uh, clean clothes whenever we wanted, stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to do a video on, on that place, Supermax. It, it's a, it's a huge place. Uh, it's, it's something to, to ponder. Anyways, I just wanted to share this video about, uh, 
leaving a facility and not doing anything to change things, you know, and and how that scripture uh, impacted me. Uh, later on, it, it always came to my mind whenever I'd get released, you know, and I would think, you know, about that day that I read that and, and instantly they called my name. Some Somebody, something was speaking to me. Something was 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 speaking to me through that Bible, you know? And uh, of course I didn't listen for quite some time. I was, I was stubborn and foolish and I kept going against the grain, you know? Uh, anyways, this is my video for today. Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping, even if this video just helps one person, just one, then it was worth me sitting here these, what, uh, 11, 12 minutes and, and, and telling this little story about you know, there needing to be some kind of change. Otherwise, things are going to stay the same. You know, I wish you the best, uh, especially if you've just gotten out. Uh, there's a place called Homeboy Industries that can really help you. Uh, look it up. Google it. The, they help with housing. They help with jobs. They help a lot. Even people who have done 20 years, 30 years locked up. They get out. They're there. They're getting hooked up. Check it out. Even if you've done a short amount of time. Uh, if you're good, you're clean, you're not dirty. Hit them up, man. They're going to help you. I'm going to cut this video short, too, because I guess my neighbor's getting ready to set up for his boxing tonight and uh, getting the music ready and everything. God bless you. Thank you for checking in and watching this video. If you follow me to this end, I want to please ask you, hit that subscribe button. Join the Kelly family. Go back and watch the other videos that are, are out there to watch, and uh, I hope you enjoy them, and, uh, and thank you very much for watching. Okay? You have a good day. God bless you. Watch your freedom. Take care of it like it's the most precious thing on earth because when it really comes down to it is. If you can't be out here taking care of business, taking care of your family, then you'll be worthless being locked up in there, not being able to help them. Not worthless, but helpless as far as being able to help the ones you love, you know. Uh, God bless you. Take care and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.